David here from History Hustle and I'm standing here in front of the Sao Paulo Cathedral or what is left of it here in Macau, also known as the Las Vegas of the Far East because of its many casinos. The Portuguese language is very prevalent here and why is that? Well, Macau was a Portuguese colony for very long. In 1557, the Portuguese founded Macau and therefore they were the first European country that took soil from China. But in fact, it was leased from the Chinese. In 1887, it became a Portuguese colony. The Portuguese spread Christianity here in Macau and you see that by the many churches that are still existing today. Mainly, Macau functioned as a trading post for the trade in Chinese goods with other countries in Southeast Asia and Japan. The Dutch did several attempts to seize Macau and in 1622 they launched another massive assault on Macau with 13 ships and 1300 men. Portuguese could not withstand this attack. However, at some point during the battle, Portuguese priests ignited the cannon and by a lucky shot it hit the gunpowder stash of the Dutch, where the Dutch succeeded in conquering Malacca of the Portuguese in 1641 they failed to do so in Macau and therefore Macau remained Portuguese. During the 19th century, slavery was abolished in European countries and therefore its colonies and there was a need for labor. The Europeans invented the system of contract laborers, drafting, for example, Chinese of the mainland and shipping them off to plantations in the Americas. The Portuguese also did this and they also abducted Chinese, letting them work on the horrific and slavery-like conditions. During World War II, Macau was neutral and the Japanese respected this neutrality. On the contrary, if you look at the other Portuguese colony, East Timor, this colony was invaded and occupied by the Japanese. But in fact, Macau was just a Japanese protectorate. This came to an end in August 1945. However, new tensions rose when mainland China became communist in 1949. During Mao's Cultural Revolution, during the 60s and the 70s of the 20th century, several riots took place in Macau, as well as in Hong Kong. But at the end of the 70s, China and Portugal started talking with each other again. And in 1988, it was been decided that Macau would be ceded to China on the 20th of December 1999. And so it happened. And with that, Western imperialism in Asia came to an end. However, Macau would remain a special administrative region and SAR for 50 years with its own currency and its own rules. This will be applied to 2049. What will happen afterwards, future will tell.